Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to use the Procreate app to completely fully pencil, ink, color, and even letter your own comics directly on the iPad, and then be able to export them for print-ready files, or even just for web comics. Anyone wanting to take their first steps at drawing comics digitally and wondering if you can do all of the steps inside uh, of your iPad, I'm the answer is yes, and I'm going to show you how. Uh, maybe you've already dipped into drawing digitally for a while and you're using a bigger Cintiq screen and you're wondering, um, does the iPad, can the iPad do everything that you can do inside Photoshop or with a big Cintiq screen? And the answer is also yes. As a matter of fact, I sold my Cintiq um, a few years ago now, and this is my full setup for all of the comics that I draw and all of the uh, freelance projects that I, that I uh, take on. So in this series specifically, I want to take you through how I approach drawing comics traditionally, but using these digital tools. I don't believe in a lot of shortcuts or gimmicks, but we do have some fun, fun things that we can use on here. But it still gets down to the fundamentals of drawing comics. So this is not a how to draw comics video. This is a how to use these tools uh, to draw your comics. You'll of course need your trusty iPad Pro with your Apple Pencil and a copy of Procreate, which you can get on the App Store. I think it's $7.99 or $9.99, uh, one-time uh, one cost. And by the way, if you uh, want to use my templates, I have my templates for sale, uh, my templates and comic brushes, so you can check those out on gumroad.com slash comics, gumroad.com slash comics. I have the complete templates here with uh, thumbnail layouts. You're going to see me going through some of these. Um, I also have my comic pencil and ink brushes um, that I've uh, curated and custom made throughout the years for myself because you can get buried in tons of brushes on this thing and you waste so much time. So over the years, I've really uh, customized my own brushes um, to have the feel of actual drawing on paper. And starting out, my biggest uh, tip for you, and you can find another video on my channel about when I, I reviewed some uh, non-glare covers. So you're going to want to buy a non-glare cover. You can see it. I've got it, mine on here. Uh, it feels more paper-like, but don't fall for the most expensive uh, covers. There's like $30, $40 covers. That's ridiculous. You can get any non-glare matte finish cover. We'll have that nice... Uh, it'll feel like... Uh, It'll feel a little bit more tooth and resistance. So um, you could see here when I bought the new iPad, I had old screen covers. So I just went ahead and scissored, <laughs> scissored around there and, and pasted this one on. And it's fine because it's one of my favorite uh, brands. I use Tech Armor um, available on Amazon. I, I'll put all the links in the description for you. But yeah, this, this surface is going to feel a lot better and it doesn't feel like you're drawing on glass. So this first video, I want to just show you some of the gestures and capabilities of the iPad for drawing comics specifically, and especially if you're coming from a more traditional drawing background, I want this to be uh, as helpful as possible to you. So let's open up Procreate and take a look at what the program looks like. So you can see here, it jumps right into uh, your dashboard. You're basically virtual uh, studio. So these stacks can help you stay very organized and you can also move uh, move your comics around just by holding down and moving them moving them out of order. Or I could even take this and move it to another stack or another project if I wanted to. For instance, if you had a multiple page book and you wanted to do page three, whatever, um, or if you have a template going on and you want to duplicate your template, you just swipe left duplicate, and now you have a copy of that template. That's how I organize when I'm drawing my uh, comic strip. Right now it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, so I have the three and the dates and then my thumbnails. When your pages are done, you can then export them. In this case, it's more of an 8x10 picture for me. Uh, I'm going to hit the little gear button, and I want to share it. And you can share as a Photoshop layered file, a PDF, JPEG. But in this case, it's going to be for a print book and I'm using JPEG. So I'm going to hit JPEG. It's going to give me a variety of options. I could text it to people. I can uh, airdrop, it, airdrop it to another device. But in this case, I'm actually uh, setting up a Google Drive. So through the magic of the uh, cloud, I know that in my drive, it's called Secret Forces. SF print. So all my print pages are in here. Hit save. Upload. And it's done.
Now it's in the cloud somewhere. You can also save these directly to your camera roll, JPEG, so that it can become a reference folder if you wanted to. Just go save image. Now it's in your camera roll. Another fun thing about Procreate is every stroke is actually recorded. So when you're done and you want to see a replay of your work, you just hit the toolbar, little tool icon, video, time-lapse replay. And you can use this for extra social content, maybe your Instagram, something like that, or just for your own uh, pleasure. And you can actually scrub back and forth with your finger, just like you can export a time-lapse video, either as 30 seconds, so it's going to really speed it up, or full length. It's cool. It's compressed it down that fast. Save video. Now it's in my camera roll. And I can upload it to... Uh, Instagram or wherever I want. So let's talk about canvas size. You can make any canvas size right from the plus sign up here. I have a lot of pre-made canvas size 8x10 sketch, digital strip single, untitled canvas. <laughs> uh, so yeah, there's a lot here, but you can always just make a, make a new one. Set your DPI. So uh, you can switch to inches as well. So you switch to inches right there. So if you wanted to say, uh, you know, a standard 11 by 17 page at 300 DPI, um, the more DPI you go up, the higher the file size is and the less layers that you can have in a file. So you're going to want quite a few layers. So 35 layers, that's a lot. You should be able to do a lot with that. That, that would be fine with 11 by 17. Um, you can also set your color profiles. Basically, all of the settings are in here. Uh, for mimicking just about anything that you can do in Photoshop. So you can do the uh, RGB, uh, CMYK, and you can set those dimensions again. Right. I already have my templates set up. So that's just to show you that you can make any size you want, 8x10, 6x8, whatever. So I already have my pages and my templates uh, worked out. This is the template pack. So inside of a comic page, inside of uh, Procreate, Here's your layers button here. And now you can see you can have layers just as you would in Photoshop for your pencils, your inks, and picture these stacking on top of each other. Uh, you can even have your script in here if you want. I also have some different layouts and grids. Your standard grids. Also on my pencil, I have the two-finger tap takes me to the eraser tool or the drawing tool. So you'll see me doing that a lot. Now let's take a look through some of the gestures on the Procreate uh, to help you make more comics. First up, we're gonna be able to make the uh, layers transparent. So you'll go to your layers, select your pencils, two finger tap, and now one finger to slide that blue bar across the top, and it's dropping the opacity of the pencils down. Do it like that. Now you're ready to ink this page on another layer. Next up, undo, redo. It's basically the control Z of your iPad. Let's say we're on the ink stage here. And we've drawn a, whoa, see? Oh, I just, whoa, that's way too, it's a whole blob of ink there. Two finger tap to undo. Set my brush size lower. This chin line. Whoops, see, I don't like that. Two finger tap to undo it. Okay. Three fingers will bring it back. See, I did like it. Two finger tap, takes it away. Three fingers, brings it back. While we're in here, say if you were just filling in blacks, black areas here, and this was his entire head, you could just grab this palette here, drag the dot, let go, there you go. So it makes it incredibly fast for spotting your black areas inside the comic. Not going to be really detailed with this. As long as you close those lines, we can get in here and, and really whoop, 
two finger tap. Do that. So you can see how you're able to really spot out your blacks very fast on the page too. Next up, cutting and pasting or resizing an image. And say I don't like the size of this guy right here. I can just select him. Hit this transform tool here, that's the arrow. Now it's gonna bring up the handlebars and you can drag and drop the handlebars with your Apple Pencil, make them a giant walking down the street if you want, move them around, or you could do that within just your two finger touching down. As well, one finger move them around. This green dot at the top allows you to rotate. Or if you just wanted to rotate 45, you can see it down here. You can rotate in set. Say I didn't like what I just did there, two finger tap. We're gonna go right back to where we were. Really good for like, say I don't like the size of this sandwich. <laughs> sure, all the pencils again. I can just select the sandwich. I can make that a bigger sandwich if I want. Yeah. Cool. Or oh, that's too big of a sandwich. Two finger tap, back. Cool. Next up is copying and pasting from one file to another or inside the, uh, inside the comic itself. So in this case, I'm just gonna show you how I took a rough. Uh, these are my roughs for the uh, comic. I draw them thumbnails real small. So I'm gonna just select, select all. Now with three fingers, I'm gonna swipe down and it's gonna pull up the copy paste menu. If you hit copy all, it's gonna copy all layers. So even the borders. And I think in this case, I kind of want to do that just to, so I have a, a lineup. So I'm gonna copy all. Now I'm gonna go back to the document that I want to paste it in, an actual comic template. Make sure I'm on a rough. Swipe down again, three fingers, swipe down. Brings up the copy paste, paste. It's real tiny. And I'm just gonna line them up. There we go. So now I have my roughs in here. I can double tap. two finger tap and swipe my finger left to fade that out and then really get into the penciling of that panel. Another thing you can do is say if you have a handy uh, field notes, some sketches, sketches in it, and maybe you've captured a really tiny pose or action shot or something, and you wanna take your actual photo from a reference book or your sketchbooks, it's really easy to do because your iPad itself has a nice uh, camera on the back. Yeah. So I'm just gonna set that guy down. It's a little more advanced. Now within Procreate yourself, you can actually say uh, toolbar, import, add, insert a photo, take a photo. You can actually just say take a photo. Hit okay. I'm just gonna position it where I want it. Oh, that's good. Let's get see. <laughs> You can also do this with your camera and then just airdrop your uh, your photos over. But let's just uh, say I want that explosion of those guys there. Take a picture, use photo. Now we've got the whole image inside of its own layer. Um, you don't need to have that, but I'm gonna show you copy and paste. So I only want this little bit of guy here. So make sure I'm on that layer. Let's go in. Freehand that. I just want. I just want these the shadow and this blast. Like this guy's blasting these with some magic powers. And I'm gonna swipe three finger swipe down, and I'm gonna hit copy. Then I'm gonna sw three finger swipe down again, and paste. Now it's its own thing. I can then turn off that original layer. Now I've got this guy. In is a rough. And again, I can position it. Maybe he's, maybe in the next panel, he's wiping out these, these dudes that were carrying that giant or something. I don't know, you know? Let's fade that out. Next up, the quick line tool. So I have a brush that's just a mono line for my 
line, for my uh, panel borders. So quick line in Procreate allows you to draw straight lines fast and snap them to where you want them to go. Uh, say for instance, if I start on here and even if I'm like, whoa, oh shoot, and I just stop and hold, it snaps to a straight line. I can then keep my pen down and put it wherever I want it. That's pretty cool. Uh, say I want it to snap too straight. I can hold one finger down and now it's gonna snap to 45. Pretty cool for panel borders, yeah, but also awesome for perspective as well. So say I set my vanishing point. Boom. 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 Why am I saying boom? I don't know. Quick line. It's pretty awesome. It works with any brush as well. You do that with a pencil brush. Cool. I don't like all those lines, so what am I gonna do? Double tap, two finger tap, go all the way back and get rid of all that junk. Let's get rid of all of it. Just do, 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 do. Okay. Next up, quick shape tool. So this is pretty interesting. Let's say this IGA uh, grocery store logo here. I'll try and trace it as best as I can. Now, when I get to the end, I'm just going to hold and it's going to snap to an oval. So even if, you're, even if your line's a little shaky and you're going around there, boom, there you go. Same thing with this little name tag. So the quick shape will do what it thinks you're trying to create. Instance. Triangular. Or an angle. Boom. So it really does speed up not having to rule out things with the ruler. Um, also, I mean, I don't do use it for panels, but of course it would do also a rectangle. Let's try it one more time. And I can show you that, see it's really, let's really, really wobble it up. Stop it touching, got it, hold my finger down, and now it's gonna turn into a square, a perfect square. Let go, and it's this. Quick shape circle, kind of. But again, if I were drawing a circle, it's not quite a circle. Hold my finger down. Now it's a circle for sure. And you can resize it just by keeping your finger there. All right, so layer isolation mode. Say I was in the middle of coloring a comic. There'll be more videos on this in the future. But I have these two layers here. Here's the figure, the guy in the front. And this is the background. So I don't want to color anything else but that panel. I'm going to two finger tap on, or I'm two finger slide across. And now you see the little checkerboard? It's created in an isolation mode, meaning it's like a mask where nothing else will go over. Same thing with the, the kid. So I'm going to swipe him over. He's got a checkerboard around him now. And now I know, I mean, I can all over the place here. And it's not going to go outside those lines. So it makes for a really quick flatting of your images. Bigger. Just a little bit of shading, you know, without going outside the lines. So there you go, that's how you isolate. And you can always turn it back by swiping again, taking the checkerboards away. So now it's not isolated and now it is isolated. Also important to know is that just like in Photoshop, each layer has 
a color mode that you can put on just by this little symbol here. So I've put down a sepia tone and I've marked it to click that little button there and you can do all the things you can do inside of Photoshop. Multiply, soft light, screen, color burns. But in this case, I've set it to color and I've set the opacity way down. So at max, it's that. I can set that layer opacity down to, eh, you know, 25, something like that, just to give it an old, old fashioned look. So that's a nice feature. So anything that you can do in Photoshop with layer styles, you can do in here. Um, for reference, if you were drawing, that's pretty fun too. Uh, on the iPad, you can do a split screen. So we're gonna swipe up from the bottom, this little gray line that's here. Swipe this up and say I wanted to bring my photo albums. I'm gonna hold down, drag it to the left and let go. And now I have a split screen. I'm gonna go back to my albums albums and I have a wrestling album here so all my reference is right here and I can actually make that little reference uh, sidebar a little smaller so even when I'm referencing say this television here in the living room kind of yeah or the supermarket that I've drawn there You can also uh, well, can close that right back out by sliding that bar over. And you can use other things like Pinterest for your reference folder. So I don't know what I have in my Pinterest. Sometimes when I'm working on fighter pilot stuff, I want to see some like, you know, some of the jackets that they're working on and things like that. And you could also search live, go to image search. You could do a basic Google image search if you wanted to do just a quick, quick look see at something. So that's very nice. For those that actually like to bring their reference directly into, say for instance, we're gonna use this wrestler guy. You can just drag, hold, drag and drop and now he's on his own layer inside of your Procreate app. There he is. And you can do whatever you want with that guy. You could put him into a panel, have him side by side. Some people, you know, I don't, I don't like tracing, <laughs> but some people would, you know, fade him out, go right in and uh, get the basic pose. Say you wanted to bring your reference directly in and to your document, you could do that. Say this guy, or these guys wrestling here. Now it's directly in your document as its own layer. And you can do that again, resize, put it where you want it. Some people even just trace the poses. I don't like to do that. I like to draw from scratch, but if you are wanting a pose, you could simply fade that out. Again, opacity slider, and you know, you could get the uh, the overall form in there. Also good for some practice when you when you're looking at lighting studies and like where the contrast might be. That's fun. That can be a fun thing to do. I don't really like to to trace. Uh, the, uh, in my case, I might just, you know, actually sketch out the pose a little bit, change it up. So that covers the basic gestures of drawing inside Procreate. Um, I hope you found this video useful. Again, my comic templates are available and my comic brushes are available on gumroad.com slash comics. And in future videos, I want to show the actual uh, my process from pencils, roughs, um, things like that. So please subscribe to the channel and keep an eye out for new videos soon. Thank you.